Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. Zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that is made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome, with one small little green biome where we are, uh, or where we have rather made our home. So, uh, wasn't planning to bring you back quite yet, but um, I found something absolutely fantastic. One of the best things you can find in seven days to die <clears throat> and uh, i was just thinking <laughs> i was just thinking too earlier um that i need to get a better one of these and i found it um but basically uh, I'll, I'll give you a bit of an update later on on where we are on the horde base um uh, i'm making progress on it so we'll take a look at that but i pretty much ran out of gasoline again um so i had to uh <clears throat> I, I decided to come into the city it is day 63 too by the way so we are going to get a horde tonight um, and my plan for that is uh, probably just to to ride around on the streets and stay in front of the horde and wrench cars and, and continue to wrench cars, actually. But um, I was over here and, and I found a waterworks, so I figured out oh, what the hell, I'll come in here and, you know, do the usual cheese the loot from the back door sort of thing. And um, we just had a running horde go by, too, and some of them actually can't have come down here, so I had to kill them. But anyway, um, this is a car parts box, and look what I found inside. Boom. An epic... A purple auger. That is freaking awesome. Um, I don't know how it compares in block damage to the, the yellow one that I have. It's probably better. But even if it's not quite as good block damage wise, it's got, you know, four mod slots. Whereas the other one only has one. So, you know, it's worth it for that. <clears throat> so anyway, um, let's go ahead and keep looting the rest of this stuff. Uh, we'll look in the big chest here. Wow, look at that. That's a nice little haul, too. Um, we can put that right on our auger. Of course, I already have one of those. Two. <clears throat> Dang, nice. Okay, so let's grab these now. Um, I do need to eat, so that gives us ten. That gives us five. Let's eat this. I mean, we're going to have to come back down here anyway because um, we haven't even opened the big chest yet. So that gives me, here, let's get rid of that, and now uh, we can at least loot all the rest of that. Okay, so we've got a pop and pills. Um, yep, I'll take those. What am I going to give up? Let's just give up this one thing of animal fat uh, for that. And then, okay, all we have left now is uh, the big box here. And let's see, do I have lockpicks? I've got 18, yeah. Hopefully we can open this with 18 lockpicks. If not, well, we've got a, a nice new purple um, automated lockpick. <laughs> Motorized lockpick, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so if this doesn't work, we'll use that. Oh, but look at that. We got it all the way in. All right, what do we got in here? Woo, look at that. A blue marksman rifle. And purple steel gloves. Yeah, that's pretty nice loot. Definitely. Okay, we're going to have to come back down uh, for this loot, though. Because I don't have enough room for it. Um, so, and actually, you know what? Those are, yeah, those are level 5, or yeah, level 5 military boots. I'm going to hang on to those because I'm planning on, you know, putting together a uh, a light armor set at some point. Yeah, we just had a had a running horde come through here. There's a couple of oh wow, two bikers. Okay, at least they're not irradiated bikers. So let's deal with them, as they're probably going to detect us. Oh, shit. There we go. Anybody else coming around? Okay. Let's take this guy out, too. I've been having some trouble lately with my uh, hitting anything with this hunt rifle. I don't know if it's just because I have really bad skill in sharpshooter or something else is weird, but... I mean, look at that. That was damn near a body shot right there. 
and it, it freaking went through them. I mean, I'll have to look at the recording later, but <laughs> for, to me, it looked like I was, you know, center of mass shot there, and he didn't even touch him. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go back. We're gonna have to go back to the to the green bomb and to our base to drop stuff off, unless I make a drop chest, because I'm I'm already getting really full here. But let's go ahead and put this stuff in here for the moment. And I want to do a comparison of these two augers as well. Uh, what else can we put in there? Let's put that in there. Let's put all the food. Well, oh man, we're already out of space. Oh, we found a uh, we we found a Stefan or Stefan or Stephen, however you pronounce that's a treasure map. But I already actually have. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna call it Stefan because that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> I know some people uh, spell. Or pronounce Steven with that spelling, but we're going to call it Stefan because otherwise it'll bug me. Anyway, um, that's beside the point. So I already have one here. So I think what we'll do in an upcoming episode is we'll get out the gyrocopter and we'll go we'll go do um, both of these treasure maps wherever they might take us. Uh, so that'll be kind of a fun episode, but we're not doing that uh, today, of course. Um, all right, so let's see. I want to... We got some more acid there. Uh, we don't really need that. And yeah, I don't really want to throw bones away though, because we need that stuff for glue. So we're gonna hang on to the bones. Um, these we can just scrap. We got tons and tons and tons and tons of pipes. So okay, that frees up should free us up enough slots to go get the rest of the stuff. But before we do that, let's do a, a little comparison here. I want to pull these off. I guess we do have two slots in that. Okay, so this does 23 block damage. This does 32. So this is already better out of the chute, plus the fact that it uh, has four mod slots. So that's really awesome. So we'll find um we'll find a um an iron breaker uh, to put in there. We already got the bunker buster and and the grave digger. Those are the four mods typically that you want to put uh, on the auger. So I'm super stoked that we finally found that. Uh, that that's just amazing. It's, and and again, like I said, I was actually thinking just earlier this evening uh, as I was working on uh, the horde base and you know digging out that man I need to get a better auger and there we go <laughs> so that's awesome all right so let's go get the rest of the stuff out of here okay we're making really good progress on the horde base I'm uh I think I'm only like f four blocks above um bedrock now you know, because I've I'm start I've been uh, digging out the main chamber, and that'll go just a little bit better now that we have the the purple auger. But let's take a quick look at this. So we got the we have the shoot all done as you can see here. Now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna turn this into a funnel as well. So when the Zekers fall down, <clears throat> it's going to force them right through the center. Um, and there's a reason why I'm going to do that, but it'll probably be easier for me to show you when the time comes rather than try and explain it right now. But you'll see why that's important when the time comes. So yeah, we are uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're four blocks above uh, bedrock. So we're almost done. And like I said, I just had to quit because I ran out of gas. Um, but that's where we're at. And then, you know, this whole chamber here is going to be, uh, we're going to line it with, with actually what will ultimately be steel, or at least parts of it, and, um, and uh, you know, build the base. So anyway, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. I'm excited to, to show you guys when the time comes. All right, guys. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to the base and um, unload all my stuff, and then I'll probably meet you guys back in the city. Maybe. What? How far? We're about halfway into this episode. I don't know. You know what I might do? I might... I might not even bring you back at all until, uh, until tomorrow. I'll just have to kind of see how things go. All right. We're just about there. So if I'm going to do that, then let me show you my other, the other thing I wanted to show you first before I let you go. And then, yeah, probably what I'll do is I'll probably just do the second half of this episode tomorrow after the Horde Knight's done. 
I did some more digging around up here because I needed more clay. So I did that last night, and I had a wolf horde come in too, so I killed all of them, got some nice meat and hide and all that sort of thing. Okay, so the other thing that I got is... What did I do with it? It's right here. So I found, um, and I got this off the trailer, uh, the truck chassis schematic. So now all we need is the accessories, and then we'll be able to make our 4x4 four four, uh, without having to spend more points in intellect to do that. So I'm pretty stoked about that, too. We got lots of stone, uh, you know, from all the digging I've been doing, and I'm just cranking out the, you know, the cement. And I made a bunch of sand in here, too. And uh, we continue, you know, we still have... Quite a bit of iron, too, uh, that I fed into the forges. I'm kind of hanging on to this now, though, because uh, I've been making steel. i got quite a few stacks of steel, but we're going to need all of that and, and quite a bit more for what I have uh, planned. So, But I'm, I might need more rebar, too. I don't know. I mean, I've got, I've got um, almost two full stacks of rebar, too, so I'm kind of just holding off on, on crafting anything else uh, with the iron until I see where I'm at with that. But anyways, guys, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to show you for now. What I think I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to bring you back um, after the Horde night, um, tomorrow morning or, you know, whenever it makes sense uh, with another update, and then we'll go from there because I just don't really have enough uh, exciting content to finish out this episode uh, at this point because all I'm going to do is put stuff away, go back into the city, and keep wrenching cars until nighttime. In fact, I'll continue to do that even at nighttime. So that's the plan. All right, guys. Um, we'll catch you uh, when I come back. Bye. Okay, guys. We are back. And it is uh, 5.30 in the morning on day 65. We had an uneventful horde night. Like I said, I just pretty much stayed on the road. And uh, wrenched cars and ran away from Zekers. And so I kind of went... Um, I started up up in the around in here, I think it was, and then kind of went down here, and then actually went out into the countryside, and followed this road up a ways, and just uncovered a little bit more stuff, and just wrenched cars and whatnot along the way. So uh, nothing major there, and then we came back and continued working here on the base. So let me get uh, get you updated on where we're at. Where we're at. Uh, so we're all the way down to bedrock now, as you can see, and. Um, I started working on the pit. So uh, let's see, we, we got a wall going all the way up and it is my intention to cover everything in steel at least up to that block up there. And may I, I don't know if I'm going to do the upper portion or not. I haven't decided that yet, but um, you know, everything down here because we want the entire ramp to be steel and we want the three blocks above uh, the ramp here to be steel just because the Z's can actually, you know, pile up on each other and get up that height to beat on it. I've also left a doorway uh, because when I'm finished with um, the upper part of this base, uh, there isn't going to be a way to get down in here. Well, there there would be, but uh, I want an access anyways. And so, uh, and what my plan is for this, notice that that's all the way at the top of the ramp. So, so that way, you know, if I'm down here, I can just jump up and get in through the door. But uh, I'm going to probably do at least double steel doors, uh, you know, to, to really make sure that that's secure. So that'll be an access um, an access uh, hatch, way, path, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, to get down into the lower pit. Because, of course, we're going to have to uh, do repairs on it. It, it would be, wouldn't be impossible, but it would be very difficult to safely get down into this pit otherwise, you know, from the platform that I'm going to eventually build. Um, so, all right, so we got that done, and um, I started the, you know, the first uh, wedge here. In fact, let's go ahead and get that upgraded. And I'm just making sure that everything is steel, you know, even even the stuff behind, you know, just so that this is extra, extra, ultra strong, because what I don't want the zombies to do is I don't want them to break all the way through and then get out into the stone and start making big, you know, big uh, holes and caverns and that sort of thing, because then that can, you know, lead to other bad things that we don't want to have happen. Uh, the other thing about this, too, is I am planning on actually making some pitfalls in this little uh, passageway that I'm going to make just in case they actually get in there. It's going to be very unlikely that they would, but, you know, we're going to we're gonna plan for it anyway just in case. Uh, so there will be some pitfalls in there, and that's going to be 
uh, also lined with at least concrete too to make it as strong as possible. Okay, so um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. And uh, so what I'm doing is uh, this is just I just made this part right here just so I have you know like a little bit of a of a template or a pattern uh, to what I need to do. So um, we know now that we have to do a two block high um, thing thingamadoodle all the way around. Uh, but what we want to do first is we want to make sure that the corners um, are uh, up are, are done first so that they're upgraded to steel because they're going to be buried uh, later. So let's get those upgraded to concrete now. And um, that can be upgraded to steel. And we'll wait for those to cure so that we can upgrade them to steel before we finish, you know, filling in the rest of it. Now we could finish this wall off here, though, um, because we can still get to these from this side. So let's get that done. Okay, so we got to wait for all this to cure so we can get it all upgraded to steel before we continue uh, along this wall here. All right, now, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the moment. Uh, like I said, all of this is eventually going to be upgraded to steel too, but I'm I'm kind of you know working this from the ground up. Now the bottom pit, the bottom of the pit's going to be basically it's going to be a four by four area um, on bedrock, right? So basically, like this, this is where the the ramps are going to come out to. Whoops, just like that. Okay, so this will be um, the actual bottom of the pit itself. And one of the reasons why that's significant is because uh, the radius, the explosion radius of a grenade, which is we're going we're to be using a lot of grenades uh, for this setup, is uh, is five, five block radius. So that means even if a grenade lands right in the, the furthest corner on the floor, it's still going to reach all the way over to this other side and do damage to any zombies that are down in the pit. Uh, so it should be pretty effective from that standpoint. The other nice thing about this design is I can throw the grenades against any wall in here, and they're going to bounce down the ramp and be funneled into the center uh, to do, you know, again, to do maximum uh, damage to the zombies. Uh, so that should be pretty effective. Okay, well, there's not really a whole lot more we can do um, down here right now until you know, everything that we currently have down is cured so we can get it upgraded to steel. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend um, the rest of this episode, we're going to go after those those two treasures. Um, I had mentioned maybe doing that in a, in a new episode, but I figured, well, you know what, let's just do it now. And we'll use that to finish out this episode here. So, I'm, you know, as you can imagine, I have been doing a lot of work um, offline and we'll continue to do so and just give you guys, you know, updates. Make sure I'm right in the middle here on on where we're doing, on how we're doing, rather. I also did a little bit of work. Uh, I, I dug up some more clay by, you know, our runway and our ramp at the, at the base, the main base, because I needed more clay. That's really the main reason why I was doing it. Uh, but I'm also, you know, continuing to work on that, too, so... So yeah, this is, I'm excited about this. This is going to be, I think this is going to be a really cool horde base and hopefully effective too. Because I mean, we're, we're at game stage 225. So <laughs> the next time we fight the horde, I mean, I've been, you know, I've been running, running from them the last couple of times, but the next time we actually fight them, they're going to be nasty. So anyway, I, um, I, I dug out some more dirt here. Cause again, like I said, I need clay. And I'm extending the ramp down another, you know, another area, but I have to wait for um, those blocks to cure so I can upgrade them to, you know, to reinforce concrete before I cover them up. Otherwise, it gets really hard to get at them. Um, so, again, the main reason for doing this, I don't strictly need to do this, but I'm doing it because of the, I need the clay. Because we're just making, we're making steel and, and ammo and bullets and all kinds of stuff like crazy. So we're, you know, we're burning through the clay uh, quite a bit in the forges. And what I'll probably do is just even continue, um, you know, digging this out even further until it more or less evens out, you know, with this lower part of the ground. That's the general idea. Um, so, yeah, we got that part done, too. All right. So let's go ahead and drop a few things off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the gyrocopter. We're going to go do those uh, two buried treasure quests and just go in a little bit of a trip. 
Okay, guys, uh, we're about ready to go. Um, so I started making uh, a bunch of grenades. Uh, so we have a hundred or so uh, cooking up in each one of the, the smithies there, or uh, workbenches. I uh, got another big old batch of, of concrete going in there. Um, this is making more forged iron to make up for all the grenades. This is still making steel. Uh, this is what we have uh, so far, too, in terms of our steel uh, made up. So we're, we're cranking that out. And this guy's working on buckshot, or supposed to be working on buckshot, with the remaining um, lead that I have. And the reason uh, why I'm making so many, uh, so much buckshot is because we're going to put shotgun turrets um, up into the uh, the horde base as a part of uh, of the plan. Um, that reminds me too. Can I make electric fence posts? I can. Okay. So I bought a generator, and I, I've read the schematic for shotgun turrets. Uh, but I don't actually have the skill to make wider relays, so um, either we'll come across that eventually, or maybe we can buy some of that stuff from the trader. Because I don't really want to spend more points in the intellect tree right now. Okay, I think we're about ready to go. Uh, I do, I did make a couple of fish tacos, so let's go ahead and chow down on one of those. Yum, 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 yum. And uh, we'll suck down a, a red tea. And then that should tide us over uh, pretty well for food and water. Of course, I still have this stuff that I always take with me in case I need it while we're out and about. Uh, so that, those fish tacos will definitely get our cap back all the way to max and then some. And plus, you know, give us the nice little buffs that uh, the fish tacos do, which is, um, well, I guess it's just health recovery. Doesn't it, um, don't we get other stuff from those? Let's look at this real quick. Who wants to live off the land when it's Taco Tuesday? Uh, okay, no, I guess it doesn't give us anything more. It just gives us a lot of a lot of health and a lot of uh, stamina cap. Okay, I think we're ready to go. How are we doing on repair kits? We got 10 repair kits. All right, that's probably good enough for now. So uh, let's put the gyrocopter down here. And I'm going to put our marksman rifle there. And we're going to pick this guy up. Come all the way back here and set you down. And let's put the fuel and the motorcycle in here. And looks like you're already completely fueled up, which is good. Okay, before we take off, um, let's go ahead and see where this is. Now, this is actually not very far away. Uh, show on map but it's in an area that we have not uh, yet discovered uh, that's what yeah well, actually, that's way up north actually i remember i spent the night <clears throat> in a church steeple in this town this is really the only other really large town that's not a city that i've found on this map um but i mean there's still a lot of territory that we can fly over and uncover so we might have an episode or two where we just simply do that to you know, try and uncover the entire map, or at least, you know, maybe not a hundred percent of it, but more than we have now, just to make sure we're not missing anything. It's possible, you know, that there could be another town, all in this gray stuff, and we just didn't see it. I don't think there would be, but it's possible. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and get rolling here. Okay. Oh, we still. <laughs> We still didn't manage to uh, clear that, but that's okay. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna extend that runway and make it longer anyway. So it's just not quite long enough. Okay, so hopefully uh, this treasure's not in some really gnarly mountains that we won't be able to uh, <laughs> get the gyrocopter out. But you know, we, we're bringing the motorcycle, of course, um, for that very purpose just in case uh, we can't take off again wherever we land. So the idea there would be we'd take the motorcycle out to a road or someplace, you know, clear enough for us to be able to take off again. I suppose the other option, too, is we could bail off the side of a cliff and take off that way. So we'll just kind of see. We'll see where this is. I, I, Like I said, I have no idea what the terrain is like in the immediate vicinity. And remember, we have two of these um, Stefan's maps, too, or Stephen maps, or however you want to pronounce that. Stefan. Stefan, Stefan, Steven. However you say it, doesn't matter to us, we just want the treasure. 
Wouldn't mind getting the bank either, because it's going to cost us 40,000 coin to buy uh, Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir. And I've got... I've got, I've got, I don't know, 30, 30-ish, I think, saved up or so right now. So hopefully we can find a big chunk of, of cash of Dukes in these, uh, in these treasures, among other good things. And I do have, um, I do have the, uh, elixir that gives you the 20% bartering bonus. Um, so I'm just hanging on to that until the time comes, you know, for us to buy the, uh, forgetting elixir because it's so expensive. Yeah, I'm, we could uh, we could just have like a little episode where we fly around and just uncover the rest of the map. I mean, it would be nice to uh, you know to have a couple of more towns available to us if necessary. Though the city's pretty big. I mean, we're gonna we have so much to loot in the city. Um, and then the first town, the one that we had the prison base in. I mean, I've looted probably eighty percent of that place, but this town here, no, I haven't. I looted a couple of, uh, you know, of the stores in here, but most of these buildings are still available, you know, for us to loot if we need to later on, so. Oh, this is our prison town. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me, um, let me get a little more altitude here and just take a quick look at the map. I, no, we're going the right direction, yeah, because we have to go north of our prison town. So this is correct. So let's take a quick look at the map. Yeah, we still we still have all of that territory uh, to to uncover. We've got a big body of water here. You can see for a pretty pretty decent way up here too. In spite of the the haze in the wasteland. We do need to keep an eye on our fuel too, because we're less than half a tank, so that's a that's a thing. I don't know if we can auto rotate if we run out of gas or not in this thing. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. Maybe we can. Um, there's a technique. I'm I am I'm not a pilot at all, you know, but I just know because of of this because I've read up on it in the past. But if a helicopter loses power. Um, there is a way, you know, for the for the pilot to use, I think, what's called auto-rotate. Basically, just the, you know, the air moving through the rotors to still land it somewhat uh, somewhat safely. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's easy, something that's easy to do, but it is it is a technique that's possible. Because, you know, the alternative is you, is you die anyway. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it all the way to that location with our current fuel. Um, and we definitely want to land on a road. We don't want to land out in the middle of the boonies with all the, you know, all of the crap that's down there. We'd never, never get back out. So let's go over to, looks like we do have some paved roads over here. Whoa, whoa, wrong button, wrong button. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, 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 oh, wow, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Um, okay, so let's go here. Looks like we are actually at the town. So I think we're good, actually. We're just going to land on the on the street. How about this one right here? And um See even the even the roads still have a bunch of debris on them and stuff. Okay. We're going to hit kind of hard. Uh, not too bad though. Excellent. All right, let's uh, refuel that so it's ready to go for when we take off. And uh, get this stuff out of here and pick it up. Um, yep, yeah, okay, good. So, let's see, where is this treasure at now? It is just out that direction so we're gonna have to go cross country for a little bit let me make sure I've got my shotgun and make sure everything's loaded because we're probably gonna get harassed by buzzards um, I don't know let's put uh, let's just I guess we'll put that down there for now uh, no let's put the we'll put the auto turret down 
doesn't really matter. All right, let's go check out this treasure and see what what we got. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting, you know, flying in the gyrocopter on a map that's almost entirely wasteland because you can't just land anywhere. You know, with with the way that the wasteland is out here in the boonies, there's just so much crap that I mean, you you could eventually clear enough of a pathway to take off again, but it'd just be such a pain in the butt. Um, can't wait till we have the 4x4 either, because the 4x4 can break through a lot of this shit. You know, you just plow right on through it, like the, these, the scrap iron. <clears throat> At least I think it can. I hope it can. Okay, we're here. Let's, uh... Let's stop. Oh, shit! That scared me. You bastard. He was like right all up in my business. Okay, so it's right. We got Lucky Looter 4 and we have the Lucky Looter glasses on. So uh, this treasure should be super narrowed down. Yeah, so it's going to be right. Uh, I'm thinking right around this mound here. Okay, um, let's get this out. And actually, here, we'll set, we'll just set you down so you can stand guard for us. Um, this needs to be repaired, so let's do that. I'm loving this new purple auger, man. So nice. Oh, by the way, that's another thing I was going to mention. I got, uh, I'm a little over halfway uh, to the next level, and I already have one point. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this in 69er right now. And then I'm going to put the next one in mother load, and then those will be maxed out. And that's going to help us because, you know, we still have more digging and more burrowing and more mining to do. And not only is this going to get us more material, but it's going to get us faster XP because we'll be able to break blocks faster and get more material. Um, so it kind of get, has that secondary benefit. Uh, all right. So, yeah, this is going to burn through here like a hot knife through butter. We just have to make sure we don't hit the treasure itself. And we don't get jumped by Z's for these treasures. It's only the... the. Uh... Alright. And we got to 5,000 coin. And... Okay, that's decent stuff. That's decent stuff. You know, the thing is, is... I have... um, I have... This happened to me the last time we found the purple... Um, the purple armor. Which was actually earlier in this episode, but a couple of... Well, about a day ago for me. Th these blue steel gloves have a, a shitload of... of of armor base well here let's just check it I, I just remember these had a lot more armor on them than the other purple ones i found but maybe not let's um whoops let's take the mods off and just see really quick what what they compare to okay so that has 15 that has 11 see so this still has a shitload more armor um in fact the only thing that the purple ones have better is 100 more durability which who cares about that so these are still the better choice, which kind of sucks in the sense that, you know, I would get another mod slot with these. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but it is a difference. I mean, I'm going to keep these, you know, um, I'll keep them because we might eventually be able to make use of a mod, you know, the fourth mod slot to make it worthwhile to have. But for now, we're going to continue, uh, you know, with the blue ones here. Okay. Okay. In a sense, it's kind of sucks when you find, you know, the higher level stuff and the stats on it are actually worse than, you know, the lower level that you're currently wearing. Mostly from the standpoint of, uh, you know, of not getting the extra mod slots when that happens. Uh, but it is what it is. Okay, so we got some more ammo. Uh, we got 5,000, uh, 5,400 and five more coin, which is great. All right, let's go, uh, let's read this next map here. Okay, and um, now what we'll do is we'll go here. See, that's not too terribly far away. Uh, wait, what? 
Show on map. Okay, so it's right there. So it's just north of the town. Oh no, that's back towards our other town. Okay. Yeah, that's I think that's close enough to where I'm not going to I'm not going to mess with a gyrocopter on that. So yeah, let's just take the motorcycle uh, over there. If it was halfway across the map, I would, but it's not, so we might as well just ride over there. Where is my knife? My knife that I can never find. There we go. All right, let's head over there. about that that was probably from a very long time ago um all right do we have is this one that i would have probably marked yeah probably this one here so let's remove that and see what we got all right um don't care about those but we could sell them uh we, we definitely yeah that's all good stuff we'll take it doesn't give us any room for anything else so you know in that case i'm going to throw those out and do, 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 do. do we need to eat? Not really. We're in pretty good shape from those tacos. All right, well, let's just get to the treasure and then we'll see what our options are. Okay, so it's right here. And... Yeah, so right about in here is where I think it is. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put the bike down. Uh, let's put it down right here. Uh, so that way we have uh, some room to put some of this extra stuff in. all that stuff in there you've got the extender on you don't you okay that should give us enough room all right let's see what we got here just set you down up there i guess there it is okay let's see what we got all right, that's some money right there for sure. 1150, 420, 900, and whatever, 260 out of that. Okay. Well, that's what we wanted was money, so that's what we got. All right, guys. Well, uh, it is uh, time for us to wrap up this episode. Uh, so what I'm going to do is hop on the bike and get that back down. Uh, probably to that paved road there, and then I'm going to take off uh, from there and head back home. And um, so I will continue uh, to work um, on the base and, uh, you know, the horde base uh, to get that ready to go. And not sure when I'll bring you back. Uh, just depends upon how, you know, how much I can get done. Uh, but I will bring you back at some point uh, with an update. Again... I probably will not have an episode Wednesday. I'll probably it'll probably be Friday, just because here again, you know, I've got I got a lot of work doing it, uh, work to do, and I got a lot of other stuff going on besides just you know my Seven Days to Die series. Uh, so 
let's tentatively plan on you know Friday for the next episode. But you know if something uh, happens that allows me to get an episode out on Wednesday, I will do that. But let's plan on Friday and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. Be safe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.